Hey everyone, this is Reese from Cranberry Alarm RI3D. Today we're going to be going over amp scoring. Uh, we're going to be using both of our mechanisms to try and attempt scoring in the amp. We're going to be going over some consistency. We're going to move our intake up to the up position and try and score from there. We're going to be pushing our shooter right up against the amp and we're going to try and um, at a nice speed just try and uh, loft it on into the amp and we're going to see how well that does. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So to start, we're currently in our configuration with our intake pointed towards the amp. What we're going to do is we're going to turn around, and we're going to go ahead and pick up uh, a note, and we're going to try and shoot it into the uh, amp using our shooter. So we go and grab it. As we come back, it's really important for us to shoot at a really low speed here. Um, I believe right now we're shooting at around 8% speed, 8% uh, voltage. Uh, so we're really, really low. Um, and we'll go ahead and do it again. This isn't our most highest percentage shot, but this is, there is going to be a chance that this does go in just like that. So maybe with more time and more uh, dedication, there can be some more consistency to be achieved here. Uh, but with our short time, this is kind of the consistency we've achieved with our shooter and the amp. We'll do one more. So even with it coming in with our, uh, from our intake at a couple different positions, um, we can still get it in there. So now we'll go ahead and try uh, picking up uh, from the ground and scoring it in there using our intake. So for this, we use a third position on our intake, which is the upright position, um, which took a little bit of um, testing to kind of figure out the right point. We have a little bit of slop in here. So it's important to know that when, you, when you're using this type of style intake, you know where you're going to be at on the, on the, uh, the slop. We're kind of on the back end of our slop right now, and we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. We're going to pick up this one. And I believe right now we're running our Neo on the 3 to 1 ratio with 2 inch squishy wheels at about 48% um, voltage. There we go. And then we're not totally consistent. However, uh, for the most part, they will go in. And then now we're going to do a couple rapid fire after this one. And take. does need more some fine tuning to get really consistent, but the potential is there. Um, right now we're just running this with percent voltage. I think there could be some potential for speed control to really get this thing dialed in. It's important to note we're going to drive up really hard up against the, the uh, amp to kind of make sure this is consistent. Go and drive forward. There you go. There you go. So that may be a big thing. There we go. Now we're nailing them. And now we're going to go and try uh, with, with one with a note in the way. Go ahead and take. I'm going to shove this right in here. So say you missed one and you're going to try again and there's a note in your way. So there it caused us to ride up and now we're stuck under one. See if we can get it. I don't know if we can get that one out. All right, I'm going to lift this out. All right, let's go and try this one more time. There we go. But yet again, we're once again on top of it. So um, driving up against it into the wall could be a really big issue, but we were able to still score it in there. Uh, and that about covers it for our amp scoring. Um, there's more to, more to come for this in terms of fine tuning and really dialing this in and making this a consistent shooter. 
um, into the amp. Uh, ideally, you'd want to be shooting at around 90 to percent consistency, 90 to 100 percent. Um, but right now, we're a, a bit away from that, and hopefully, we we hope to be there. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out more RA3D Cranberry Alarm content on First Updates now. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.